Hey, it's Tom Skywalker 11 with the next updated LEGO Xenoblade 2 minifigures. Here is the adorable genius Tora and the absolute perfection that is Poppy in all three of her forms. So first off, Tora. So he uses a similar build to the other Nopon that I've made but with a lot more pieces because he's bigger. If you want to see how to build him, I did a tutorial on how to build my Nopon builds for both the big Tora version and the regular size Nopon. You could find that in the Lego Xenoblade playlist that'll be linked at the end of this. So this can come off and on depending on which weapon he's going to equip. This one is for equipping Cutie Pie's weapon, and then you would take it off for the other two. Alpha, simplest weapon, I didn't really do much for this. Just stick it in. I was lazy about Alpha's weapon. Then swapping some of the parts off of regular Tora, since I didn't want to make them all again for the second version, we have the legendary meme, V Swimsuit Tora. I forgot to put anything on the back. So the face is a little bit different because I had to remake it this one since I couldn't have his clothes on there but yeah I did this for a joke with the chores strip game thing at one point then next we have poppy alpha So all the poppies have been updated with metallic coloring. So her hat and hair are both put over a regular hair piece. I didn't use a hat piece for this. I used a hair piece and I made the hat out of paper and tape as opposed to using a hat as a base and then making the hair under it. With the size of her hat, it just worked better making the hat instead of making the hair. Poppy QT. So I still don't have two of these pieces. I'm still just stuck with the one, so I can't give her the full weapons. I really should just make my own weapon for her instead of trying to use this piece by itself. But every time I work on updating the poppies, I always forget to do that. And lastly, we have the most broken poppy form, Cutie Pie.
So if this looks a little bit odd on the face, that's because I have a tiny piece of tape to hold down the hair so it stays close to her face. So for this one, I updated the hair by lining it with blue instead of just a regular black color. I thought it looked more interesting that way. Her weapon was getting in the way of putting her up to the camera, so I took that off for now. Her scarf is so, so cool. I absolutely love her scarf. And the body without the scarf on it, though. Not really much to see in the back since it's taken up by the hair. I don't think I even put anything on the back because I figured it would be taken up by the hair anyway. So I'm pretty sure I left the back just completely empty. And I tried to make her, I guess, ammo belts. I'm not really sure what they're supposed to be. I made those with tape to make them a little more 3D. Camera is not wanting to cooperate today with the autofocus. And then a look at her weapon. So this is a clone pistol with the scope taken off it. Tora can equip it. So that's it for Tora, Poppy, and all of her forms. If you want to see Rex, Pyra, and Mithra from last week, then you can check that out in the playlist that should be linked around here. And if you're watching this at some later point, then you can also find Nia, Morag, and Ursula from next week. Those will be on next week. Those will also be in there if you're watching this at a later point after it came out. If you watched the end, comment Blossom Dance down below, and see you next time!